Hello student, welcome to our channel. This is Vasan Naik from Kendra Engineering College. In the last class, uh, I have discussed about uh, entity and architecture of uh, VHDL design. I hope it is understood. In this class, uh, we will continue with the small example on half adder. Simple circuit diagram of half adder. We know like which contains uh, four ports like two input port uh, A and B and uh, two output ports sum and carry. As I said in the previous class, uh, entity is used to define the input and uh, output, output port. So here you can see the entity declaration. Uh, so entity and port all these are the keyword and half adder is the user defined word. So entity half adder is port a and b are type of input port and of data type bit in the last session we have seen the data type of standard logic so uh, the difference between bit and standard logic is standard logic can contains uh, many values but bit can contain only value 0 and uh, 1 so here sum and carry are four type of output port and of data type uh, bit again end with the entity name so in this way we declare entity for app adder now next we will see the internal architecture of app adder this is the internal architecture of app adder we know app adder is app adder consists of exclusive or gate and and gate with input a and b and output sum and carry so now we are going to implement this internal architecture design internal design in the architecture of a vhdl in order to implement the internal design in architecture there are three types of modeling are used one is called as structural modeling second one is data flow modeling third one is behavioral modeling so now what is the difference between structural and data flow modeling actually speaking structural and data flow modeling are used for smaller design that is both are used for smaller design and it is used when we know the input and output in clear form that is when we know about the input and output are clear then we are uh, we are we use uh, structural and data flow model but uh, behavioral model are used for uh, larger design the design which consists uh, large number of gates and circuits so in other way i can say we construct uh, larger design by using behavioral modeling uh, with the help of uh, structural and uh, data flow Now we will see the structural style of modeling architecture. In the structural, structural style of modeling architecture, before begin, I we declare component. So here you can see the component XOR1 is declared and component AND1 and is declared. That means we declare separate design, VHDL design in terms of a component or in terms of a structure or we define structures for the component like here you can see there's a one structure there's a one structure here there's a one structure here for component x or x or one and there's a one structure for the component a and one so uh, all these are coming in a different vhdl design and uh, but but all these are coming under a single entity you have to remember this point now in the begin statement uh, we use port map to map the different uh, uh, input to the output we will see this one uh, here in the beginning you can see component is declared uh, by the statement using component xor1 component uh, xor1 with the port port command that is a keyword component and port are keyword and xor1 is the user defined word port here x and y are the input port of type bit i have told you what is bit and z is the 
output type output uh, uh, z of type output uh, and uh, of data type uh, bit so component should end with the end component similarly we declare we define component for and gate this is the component for xor gate you cannot use you use the word xor or and this is because all those functions are exist in vhdl database so you have to use the so use you have to use name uh, some other name other than the predefined name like xor or and so for the component uh, and gate i am giving user defined name as and1 and with port u and v are the input port of type bit and w is the w is the output port of type bit with end component once i define this one i will try to map the input and map all these map a b sum and this is carry here sorry this is carry to this input x y and u v this is something like this so here it is something like this we will def define separate design separate design for separate design for and gate and separate design separate design for or gate sorry xor gate and finally we'll bring these designs under big design that is called as big design with the input with input a and b and output is equal to sum and sorry let me write so output is carry and sum so here internally this component and is declared with input declared with input u and v and this component xor is declared with input x and y and declared with the output z this is declared with the output w so now by using map statement by using map statement we will map here u to a v to b x to a and y to b similarly we will map w to carry and z to sum that is by using for statement we will map a to x b to y and sum to z similarly similarly we will map a to u b to v and uh, carry this is carry not sum carry to carry to w so this is the main goal of uh, or main idea behind structural modeling so now we will see other type of modeling the other type of modeling is a data pro modeling this modeling is very simple and straight forward here we we define architecture architecture with the simple assign, assignment statement by using simple assignment uh, uh, operator or assignment statement uh, here you can see architecture architecture with the user defined word uh, of entity of header this architecture is belongs to entity of header uh, 
so this statement is not there let me followed by begin statement with the sum is assigned with the xor value of a and b carry is assigned with the by using assignment operator the value of a and with the b followed by end statement and architecture name data flow data flow h underscore h a so with this uh, uh, you can define different types of uh, modeling in the architecture so let me repeat there are three types of modeling uh, one is called as uh, structural modeling second one is called as data flow modeling and third one is called as uh, third one is a behavioral modeling structural flow uh, structural modeling and data flow modeling we use uh, when we know the inputs and outputs are in the clear way but uh, behavioral modeling we use in the larger design so uh, we can sum up like this uh, larger designs we can uh, uh, defined by using uh, behavioral modeling with the help of uh, structural and uh, data flow modeling. Thank you.